What's up guys, I'm Youngster's Gamer, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to give my first impressions on Snipper Clips for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Snipper Clips is the third game I bought for my Switch. I've got Fast Armax, which I beat, um, and I got Zelda, which I am still, like, still have so much more left. I'm like 30 hours into it. Um, I haven't played, gotten a chance to play Zelda that much in like the last week or so, um, but I've still got so, so, so much more to do. And the next, I got Snipper Clips. Now, I've, Snipper Clips is a very short game. According to a how long to HLTV, uh, how long to be? It's a website that says like about how long games are. The main game is like three and a half hours long, um, but of course that'll vary on like how fast you and your friend play. Um, but I got this game so for me and my friend Nathan to play at lunch, and I'm, we're about 45 minutes into it so far, but we've already beaten the first world. Uh, maybe we're like 50 minutes. Uh, nah, I'm about 45, 50 minutes, and we've already beaten the first world, and there's only three worlds, so um, it's definitely a pretty short game. Um, so I don't, and I know 45 minutes doesn't seem like that long that I've played, but since it's a short game, I think it's a good time to give my first impressions. Um, and in addition to those three worlds, uh, main game, there's also some other modes too, like there's more levels that are for up to four players, and there's also some modes where you go against each other that are four players, like there's hockey, basketball, and dojo, where you basically just cut each other up and kill each other. Um, I haven't played too much of, I actually played some of those modes on my friend's copy of Snipper Clips, um, so that's not counted in the 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, but those are pretty fun, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about those quite yet, I'll talk about those in the review. Um, I'm just going to talk about the first impressions of, from what I've played with Nathan, of basically the first world of Snipper Clips. So, Snipper Clips, obviously, very short game, and um, I haven't tried single player, but honestly, I would not recommend for you to play it single player if, uh, uh, even though I haven't tried it, just based on, like, I don't think I would really enjoy it very much single player. It's definitely something you want to do with a friend, just, like, talk to each other and have fun and laugh and make jokes and, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of co-op games are really difficult to get a friend to, like, do the whole game, especially, like, some, like, 20-hour games. Like, it's hard to find a friend to be able to play through that whole thing with you and not get bored. Like, maybe the friend will get bored or something and want something else. But Snipper Clips is a really easy game to do that with because, first of all, the Switch is portable. Um, so you can just give your, bring it to somewhere, bring it somewhere like lunch. Like I'm doing, I'm playing this with him at lunch at school, um, and you can just give your friend the Joy-Con and play it, put it on tabletop mode or something. Um, and also, you know, it's not very long, so it doesn't require that much of a commitment to play through the whole thing. Um, but basically, the main thing I'd like to highlight about Snipper Clips, well, I guess I should explain what it is first. So I'm sure a lot of you know, but Snipper Clips. Uh, you play as these little, you're watching some gameplay right now, you play these little red and yellow characters, and you want to cut each other up, and to complete certain tasks. Now, I was a little worried that I wouldn't like this game that much, because f from when I first, like, saw some gameplay, I thought that pretty much most of the game was just going to be cutting each other up so you can fit the right shapes, and going in the shapes, and then, yeah, you beat the level. Um, and that honestly didn't seem like that much fun to me. But what I've learned from playing the game, and also just from some, from some reviews gave me this idea before playing the game, um, is that it's a there's actually a lot more variety than I had originally expected. Um, there's a lot of different things. There's the ba there's the regular cutting levels. There's the basketball levels. There's these levels where you have to like guide a or I, don't I think there's only one so far, but there might be more. Where you have to like guide a frog into a pool. There's the level where you have to bring this pencil into a pencil sharpener. Um, and there's uh, there's a level where you have to get like this fly into or this like mosquito or I don't know fly whatever into like this lamp. Thing, so it can glow or whatever like that and there's I think we played what 15 level I think there's 15 levels per world for the three main worlds um, so we've done either 15 or 16 levels so far and I'm really impressed with the vari variety present um, I def and I don't even know if there's that much to say about this game the music there's not that much music which is a little bit of a shame um, so like the first world I think had the same music throughout except for maybe a boss fight um, I guess I actually didn't like what the it's not boss fight but I guess like a boss level or like a whatever you want to call it, because there was no boss we were fighting against, but it was de like the music was different, and there was like many, there was multiple phases of the level. So you can tell it was, I guess, like a boss. I actually didn't like that level that much. There was actually two of them. One of them I didn't like that much. Um, it's like the eggs, and the other one I don't remember. Um, but anyway, um, I just I like the variety that there's actually. Um, it's not just like cutting and fitting shapes. Those are probably my least favorite levels where you have to just like cut and fit a certain shape. But there's only been like maybe like three or four of those so far. That's just a guess. Maybe up to five or something like that. But there's not that many. Um, and it's just, a, it's really short. There's not that much to, to say about it. It's just, it's def I, I like it. Like, some of you guys might be tentative on it, but I really like it. And it's hard for me to pinpoint what I like about it. But, you know, just have, if you have a good friend that you're going to have fun with, you're going to laugh with. It's just a fun thing to get through and play together, you know? 
Um, it's fun thinking of different solutions because there's it's not like oh you have to do this one thing and there you go you did it there's many many different ways to solve each problem you can do it probably either almost every level or every level without cutting each other if you want to you can do a no slip no clip run I'm sure there's a couple where you have to um, and it's just a fun game I think you should check it out if you have a friend uh, to play it with um, and then if you also have two other friends then you'll be able to do the four player modes with them um, but I haven't gotten really through those yet um, yeah, I would like to see some more songs, because pretty much how it works is, the, the song doesn't loop. Or like, sorry, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to say. It does loop. It like, it doesn't restart when you click a new level. So like, you'll click the first level, go out to the menu, click the second level, and you can keep doing that for a while, and the song will just keep playing. It's not going to restart every time you start a new level. It's only going to change if you like do a boss fight or go to a new world or something. So I guess that is a, like, I understand the choice of doing that, so that, uh, like it can keep being consistent, but I think it'd be better if maybe after the bo the first like boss level or whatever you want to call it, after which is halfway through the first world, if they then change the music just to you know add some more music in there. But the music that is there is good. It's not like anything like crazy special or anything like that, but it's good, and it's a colorful game and it's really jolly and it's really fun. And I think you guys should check it out if you got a friend you'd like to play it with. It's a very fun time. Um, the only thing that you might be worried about is the price at tw it's twenty dollars, so not that expensive. But, of course, like, it's only a three and a half hour long game. So if you can justify that, I don't know, that's up to you. But in addition to the main content, there's also um, more levels that are four player levels. So that will add more time. Uh, I don't know exactly how much time will end. add maybe up to like five hours. That would be a guess of mine, but I don't know how many there are. And there's all maybe more than that, maybe less, I don't know. And there's also the uh, multiplayer games like that you can fight each other in. And those are fun as well. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say. I've been making these videos a little bit too long, so I just wanted to give you guys uh, my quick first impressions of Snipper Clips for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I really like it. I, it's hard to pinpoint like what is fun about it. Like, it's not, not like there's great platform mechanics or like this awesome stuff. Like, there's like most games, it's really easy to pinpoint why you like it. This game is kind of hard, but just get down, and play it with a friend, and you'll it'll have you'll have a really jolly time. And I think you'll really like it. The only uh, don't get the demo. Don't the demo is like the first, like just the tutorial part of Snipper Clips. And it doesn't actually give you like any levels really, and it just like makes you feel like the game is more simple than it is. But that's just because it gives you the tutorial as a demo, which I think is a bad choice by the game. They should have given you a few like core levels too. But anyway, that's been the video, guys. Uh, I hope that uh, tell me if you've played Simple Clips. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Uh, tell me if this video changes your mind and whether you're gonna pick it up or not. Uh, please be sure to follow me. Uh, tell me actually what other games you'd like to see me cover in the future, like Switch games or otherwise, like what you'd like to see me do first impressions of or just cover otherwise in any other way. Uh, thanks for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.